What is up everyone? Welcome to a very exciting Walking Dead. Bum bum bum. You know it's going to be a good one when I have a cold one right here. Oh, one-handed. One-handed. Oh, easy shit. Let's fucking go. Mm. Ah, cheers everyone. Now this series was meant to be um my wife playing this game and me being by her side and supporting her, but she doesn't want to fucking play this game, so let me play it. Ignore the fact that my shirt's wet. Ignore it. Let's continue on because I fucking really want to play this game. I'm so excited. I love The Walking Dead Telltale. It's been a while since I played it, as you can see right there. <coughs> there we go. Continue on, please. I can't remember the last, like, I think the last part we were hey, on the farm. Yeah. You're an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna no offense. There's a tractor and everything. Shut up. Shut up. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh. <clears throat> Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Yep, kids. Typical. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Mm. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Yes, indeed. I well, like the name we Clementine. Get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out Clementine. there. Clementine. So the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Oop. Down for a sec. Hey yo, what's up? Hey, hey yo. I was gonna say, if you want a game tonight, I might be able to. <gasps> oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still at work, but uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a heads up once I'm on. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, got Johnny with me. Uh, give me one second. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. Fuck. Important business meeting. Alright, continue on. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alrighty, let's explore the farm. It doesn't have much of a limp going on, which is kind of good. Alright, we gotta to talk to people before anything happens, so... Wait. This one. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Wait. Yep. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. It's no way we were in a gas station. Hang some on. guy grabbed my boy. There we go. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. We'll see about that. We'll see how tough you are. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. <sighs> Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd <sighs> chance things got too bad, we could hop on the oh, boat, I guess. What am I doing? You've got to 
I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. She's a vegan, dumb bitch. See you. Why are you dating her? Alright, all right, you gotta fucking talk to more people. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. There we go. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Is that it? Wait. Talk hey to there, you. girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's <sighs> that? It's easy. Well, yeah. For some people. Calm so, down. you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Why? Back to normal. Why would you want it that? It stay like this. No, I used to it. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people oh. over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Uh, there we this go. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I don't think I chose the right words, but oh well, stiff shit. Alright, I'm gonna talk to these ones. There's just so much talking going on, that's what <coughs> dealing downfall is. Wait, this one? There we go. <coughs> hey Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure can do. Don't fuck it up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh... Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see Shit happens. Like that. Shit happens. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Oh, dear. There we go. It's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Fuck it. How about yours? How's your family? Uh there we go. Not too close to my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. He asked for two bits. I need cut for now. Thanks. And he cut three. Do you not know how to fucking count? I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the bar. Oh, I don't want to talk to fucking duck. Fuck him. I'm going to the barn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Ah, oh, come on. 
go faster. Come on. Move it. Get closer. Interact. Do something. Come on. Talk to him. There we go. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, That's a good word. A nice Very good word. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, no no family. family. I had a beta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. <laughs> did I fuck up? Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah, I did. I fucked up. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. Go! I'll get my gun. Wait. Come on, come on. Save the kid. I have to save the kid no matter what. <coughs> if I don't save the kid, it's mission failed. Oh uh, shit. There we go. I have to. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Boom, headshot. Suck it, nerd. Fucking child. Uh-oh. He fucked. Him up. Get him good. Can we turn off the tractor now? Yeah, that's fun. Took a while. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please. Just go. Get right. out! And never come back! Well, we're leaving anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Achievement! <laughs> Let someone die is achievement. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've played this before. If you don't save the kid, it's a mission to fail, even though that I want the kid to die. To make it if you want fuck it. me. There's a reasoning why it's a mission to fail. It's further into the game. <clears throat> Ugh. 
Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks oh. run out of gas. Fuck me, don't do that. Fuck. Good job. What a moron. Get to the drugstore, go! Hell yeah, good save. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. But not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. That is true. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. <sighs> now I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Just go. Then just go. <laughs> They've got kids, Lily. Oh, God. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this. I like no. how he has like the, the red From tiles. My dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. It's only I'm him that has the red title. No it's kind of funny. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. Kick his ass. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! <clears throat> He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is <clears throat> getting eaten alive. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Oh shit, just fought someone. Uh, hit him, Kenny. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! What did I do that? Oh, fuck me. Why would you do that? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! 
Oh shit, uh, uh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate that. But that was very close. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh oh. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. I'm gonna get in. Shut up. Interesting. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah, ah. He's bitten. Uh. There was we go. he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, yep. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, there you, you go. know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Yes, sir. Now get him those pills. Kenny's a good leader. They should all respect him more. Uh, okay, let's try and figure it out it's the back door. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. He's fine. That's closed. Wait, is it? Hello, inside nut. Oh, what's this? Hell yeah. Uh, what's that? Energy bar. Alright, we got something. Alrighty, now. Let's talk to Clementine see if she's okay. Hey there. Hi. <coughs> uh, no, never mind. It's all good. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, to the back door. Can I? No, I cannot. Ah, oh, fuck me, damn it. Where do I go? Nope. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, it probably needs batteries. Common sense. <sighs> Nothing. There you go. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh, typical women. Fucking hell. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Alright, scan everything. What's in here? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yada, 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 yada. Play this way. Uh, don't give her the food. I'll talk to her. 
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Hey, I was worth it. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Uh, it... Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Lovely. I'm gonna get back to him. Yeah, that'll do. Sounds good. Uh, what's in here? Right, gotta face your fears. Come on. Did Clementine actually go to the toilet? I can't. I can't think about them in here. I wonder what's going on outside. Uh, what's this? This door leads to the back alley. No shit, do something. First aid kit. There we go. <clears throat> Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Well, it could be something. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <sighs> Trying to be a hero. Sector, at least. And painting. Over there. Grab it. Do something. Oh, that's cute. Find anything? Oh, almost missed it. Of the family who this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? <clears throat> I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. There How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Uh, talk to her. See if she understands it. Uh, sorry, nothing. So I'm good. gonna keep looking around. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. What is it? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. 
<laughs> this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Is that it? Oh, I can move it. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure, if you want to. I don't know if you sure. can. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh... <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. It just it happens. Stiff shit. My dad does. Okay, here we go. Look how serious her face is. She's trying so hard. Do you have kids? <laughs> no. You don't oh, that's have a funny. family? Oh. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Very Those rich. Very rich. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies. Yeah, like that. Could just said a teacher. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. She's so strong. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Uh, there we go. I wouldn't blame them. I'm trying to be Why? calm Did with you her. Fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. I don't want to scare just her. Didn't talk for but I do want to be truthful. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. It'd be pretty scary to see a kid by themselves and Ow! then you have to... Look after Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Uh, first aid box. Perfect. There's a bandaid in there, I bet. Oh, good. <sighs> we'll go get it, dickhead. Don't fucking tell her about it. <laughs> uh, give it to her. Wait, there we go. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Can we? Does it hurt when I do this? A little. Not too much. You sure? Wuss. Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Careful, the zombies might smell it. She's an easy target now. Use her as a life bait. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, They'll, they'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I hear a lot of shooting still. What, do I take it down or no? That's no, fine. <coughs> it's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Can I take this? That's right. Uh, head back. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I uh, try not to be. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? <sighs> no, he wasn't. Oh, was he 
bad? He was. You don't really want to have this conversation with someone like that. It's not comfortable. Wait. Yeah, got three now. Alright, just gonna find a fucking battery somewhere. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Nope. Nope. What's this? Battery. Is that two or one? Just the one. Uh, nope. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? <laughs> this is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alrighty. Uh, wait, now. Let's look around. I don't know where the second battery Try is. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? No. Um. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Where is a battery? Where would a battery be? Oh, there we go. Oh, Carly, I got a battery for you. Sorry, I got two of them. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Alright, let's let a man do the job. Come on. Power? <sighs> Nothing. Volume? Did you put the batteries in batteries incorrectly? No, you didn't. Fuck me. Is that correct? This up? I don't know if it does anything, but I think to get more signal. There we go. You fixed it. Yeah. Skyrocket. W A B E urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. My producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. W A B E wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Yep, that was interesting. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Uh, this one. Better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Alright, that will conclude today's exciting video. Thank you all so much for uh, joining and being a part of this video. Thank you all so much. Remember, keep on subscribing and I will release more better content. Thank you. 
Bye.